So you got the call to come to AEW and do Dark, and we have seen tons of talent like established and make a name on that show. Uh, who reaches out to you? Who says, hey, let, let's get you into AEW? Yeah, so uh, I had talked to um, QT Marshall, so he was just, it was kind of like, okay, it happens out of nowhere when it's like, oh, are you available these days? And it's like, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what, I mean, would, was that the type of thing that you would have probably made work even if you weren't available those days? Because it is a big opportunity. Oh, yeah, I would have made it work no matter what. Because um, <sighs> I just was really just trying to like, keep poking at them a little yeah. bit and like i was like hmm so like the last thing i did i um i was like okay i'm gonna quit just tweeting and replying <laughs> to sheeta and i'm like because i'm like i know they see this yes and i was like what maybe like gives it like that last little like oomph like okay like let's let's bring her in and i was like yeah. i'm gonna talk and tell them how i feel <laughs> And I posted like a promo and, and everything. And I was like, just so people can like feel my emotion a little bit. And it's not just like on a Twitter keyboard. Like that's, I love promos so much, like just to be able. So it's like, you get a little bit more about like who I am also, because a lot of people still don't really know me. Cause it's like, I mean, I'm two and a, two and a half years. in, yeah. so it's like some people have heard of me or not heard of me and so just so they can kind of see like my personality a little bit too and it's not like me saying typing like get a little like feel for who I am and that I do want to be somewhere that sees something in me and that I am I do work hard and I want to keep working hard and I want to go somewhere where I can grow and really be an asset for a company did you get face to face with Sheeta at any point backstage? Did you happen to bump into her, run into her at all? Oh yeah, I'm so nice. I'm like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> My God. So, as far as the match uh, with Penelope, did you get any feedback from anybody backstage? Any any positive reinforcement? Anything that you should work on? How was that? Yeah, a lot of positive feedback, just like that a lot of compliments on like my energy and um my look and stuff like that so um the next step is like trying to um kind of trying to set myself apart and showing that it's like like i want to be brought in as a competitor like i want to compete i want to be in a division and um really show them what I can bring to the table because like whatever they need from me, like I'm, I'm going to bring it. It's one of those things like ready or not. Like, even if you tell me something, I don't think I'm ready for Like I will get myself ready and like, I will deliver the best I can. So hopefully opportunities keep going. Cause I had, a, everyone was so great and it really did feel like a great environment. And I was like, this just feels comfortable. And that, that's what I want. Like, I want to be somewhere where I'm like, this feels like it's your home away from home, even though it's work. So feel somewhere where it's like, I would be spending the majority of my time here if I get that chance to come back. So it's like, I really wanted to test that out too. Like, it was like, okay, I'm going there. I'm getting brought in to, to do a job and to work. But like, I just kind of wanted to feel it for myself also, because it has to be a two-way street. Were there a lot of familiar faces there? Like, did you know a lot of these people personally? Because, I mean, you've worked the independent circuit with, I'm sure, plenty of these people. Oh, yeah. Like, all the Texas people. Like, you have Sammy, um, yeah. Ricky Starks, and then Thunder Rosa was there, which really helped me a lot. I would say. <laughs> um, just to kind of have her. So, I'd be like, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> So was there anybody specifically that came up to you and went out of their way to, to kind of help? Or was it kind of just a general general feedback thing? Yeah, like um, I talked to Cody Rhodes and Dustin Rhodes and um, I felt really good about our conversations and um, yeah, that, those were the ones that like stuck out the most, of course, because yeah. <laughs> they're pretty sure. important people. <laughs> sure. Uh, I, Dustin Rhodes, man, he is still doing it and doing it really good. Like he's done some of the best work I've ever seen him do. 
in the last year and a half of his career, and it's it's really amazing.